Hey guys, it's your girl Alicia. So today I'm going to be making a video on how I do my um, Irish marsh, how I process my Irish marsh from sea, fresh, fresh, straight from the ocean Irish marsh until it gets to the capsule phase. Stay tuned. What I'm going to do now is... um wash this it's filled with salt right now so all this is going to be washed and there's going to be a 24 hour soak on it in lemon juice and then we'll come back and i'll show you how i'm going to process this irish moss sea moss into a powder for my capsules stay tuned So this is our Irish mar, all washed. I think I washed this probably like five to six times. Dump that water and I'm filling it up with water and I squeeze the fresh lemon juice on it. And this is going to be sitting and rehydrating for the next 24 hours. I'll see you then. So, welcome back. Our Irish moss gel is out of the oven. Um, remember, I had to put it in the oven for... My oven goes as low as um, 175 degrees Fahrenheit. So, that's what I dried these on. And they dried so quickly. Look at that. Okay. Now, I'm going to remove the... Irish moss from the parchment paper and try not to leave any of the paper on the Irish moss. So you're going to just close to separate because it's so thin. It's like thin as paper itself. So I'm just going to be pulling off the paper. And this is parchment paper. So guys, I use both parchment paper and wax paper. And the wax paper did not work. It stuck to the wax paper and it does not come off. So I'm going to show you what it looks like on the wax paper. But the parchment paper is it's coming off just perfect. Look at that. So this is the dehydrated Irish moss I'm removing from the parchment paper. All right, there's little little um, places where it where um, the parchment paper stuck, but I'm just gonna take my time and gingerly pull those off. And if I'm not able to get those off, those areas, I'm actually just going to throw them out because I don't want um, paper pieces in our Irish moss powder. But they're actually coming off very nicely. Look at that. Can you see that? Wow. So then, what you're going to do is just break this into pieces. I broke the first one, look. And we're, you're going to break it into small pieces, and this is when it goes in the blender, and we're going to make this into a powder. Okay, so the, dehy the um, dehydrating of the Irish moss gel came out perfectly. But you yes, you must use parchment paper, not um, not wax paper. I'm going to show you what happened to the wax paper. Look at that; it does not come, it does not peel off the, 
the wax paper. Okay, what it does, it just breaks with the wax paper. It is totally adhered, adhered to the wax paper. So I wouldn't use it again on wax paper, parchment paper only. Look, see it come out looking like paper. And then here's the parchment paper. All right. so perfect. So from here, we're going to turn this Irish moss paper into a powder. So the next time you see me, I'll be blenderizing this into a powder form. Look at that. Beautiful. This is all Irish moss gel dehydrated at 175 degrees in my regular oven for two hours. It was, it was very, very quick. I, I had to be watching it because I wanted to make sure it did not burn. So this is our dehydrated Irish moss gel. All right. So stay tuned. The next, um, the next process is we're going to powder this dehydrated Irish moss paper into powder. Okay. I'll see you then. So our Irish, our, our dehydrated Irish moss paper uh, was blended in our blender and now it's a powder. But what I'm going to do is, oh, look at that. It's like smoke. I'm going to take the opportunity to sieve. Because remember, oh, look at that. Oh, I wonder. The Irish moss powder going into my lungs. I wonder what kind of goodness is that giving my body? <laughs> so, look at that. Because remember, we're putting this um, powder in a capsule. So we need it to be micro-fine. And this, guys, I'm not going to throw away. I'm going to put it back in the blender and blend it again. And then I'll sieve it again. So, look at that. This is our final. This is our final step. I'll show you. Like anything that you're putting it in has to be nice and dry. No need to go through all this, this step to powder it out and then put it in a damp container. Oh, look at that. Look at that. That's the powder that we're going to be using for our capsules. All right, I want to put it closer to show you. Look at that. So we're coming from, ooh, it's like real powdery smoke. That's what we're going to be putting in our capsules. Okay, so when we come back, it's time to fill our capsules. We'll be back. Okay, guys, so this is the final stretch. We have our capsule, the bottom parts of our capsule in place. And what we're going to do is put this Irish moss 
powder right on top. And we're filling these babies up with this Irish moss powder that we made. And we have, there's a little gadget that you use to sweep the powder in to the capsules. I have it here. Here we go. So we're just gonna make sure that these are filled. This is a 90 day supply in one shot here. I need a little bit more to make sure these are filled. Tap them down to make sure they're really full. <clears throat> Voila. So look, they're nicely filled. So what we're going to be doing now is these are the caps and these guys are glycerin gel caps made from natural plant source glycerin so it is safe for consumption I'm just gonna there, they have some of these um, that you, you, I'm going to look for another little apparatus here that gives you a quicker seal. Hmm. These um these gel caps are is a new brand I'm using, so I don't know if they're like really harder to to um to seal or what, but I am going to.